A new search is about to begin for this woman, missing in Livingston Parish since the start of the month. Good evening. A volunteer group from Texas picked up the cause. They will get started in the morning. Barbara Blunt has not been seen in more than three weeks. Her car was found abandoned near her home in Holden. Deputies suspect foul play. News 2's Night Sight reporter Veronica Mosgrove updates the investigation. The sheriff's office is actively following leads, but their search for Blunt is over. Blunt's family members tell me they contacted Texas EquiSearch because they specialize in looking for missing people. Barbara Blunt's picture is on the Texas EquiSearch website. A group of about a dozen volunteers is in town to help search for the missing woman. They were here last week and tried to set up the search last week with the... Uh Extensive rain and bad weather we had last week uh, prevented that. It kind of duplicated the uh, scenario we had the day Miss Blunt was missing. What, real high water in the area and limited uh, your access to the area. For days, sheriff's deputies, family and friends searched the wooded area by Blunt's home. They welcomed the help. We didn't really set it up, but we welcome any resource that wants to come out and produce leads for us in this uh, missing person's case. Detectives took the group to Barbara Blunt's home. They also took them here, where Blunt's car was found abandoned. This is where the group will focus its search. Sheriff's officials say Blunt's disappearance is a real mystery. There's no known motive for her disappearance. The search starts at 8 in the morning. Texas EquiSearch welcomes volunteers, food, water, and any other donations to help them in their search. They plan to stay at least a week if they don't find Blunt before then. Veronica Mosgrove, WBRZ Balanced News. This is the same group that traveled to Aruba to help search for missing student Natalie Holloway.